Carlisle is a small town located near Toronto. For many years, it's hosted a bluegrass festival that brings thousands of tourists here to enjoy a weekend of music and camping. At times, this park has accommodated over 25,000 people, and its campgrounds are sensitive to nature, designed around a well-treed landscape. It's home to Summer Grove Productions, a company that specializes in concert production. To show you the makings of a music festival, we're going to give you a tour, backstage, behind the scenes to introduce you to their production facility. As showtime approaches, the population of this tiny town quickly swells to over ten times its normal size. Tourists arrived Friday morning to get the prime camping location and to beat the long weekend traffic. Some have bought tickets in advance to take advantage of a reduced price and to guarantee themselves a campsite. Some events have sold out. A wide entranceway with several lines for cars now keeps the long lineups to a minimum. Maps of the park are free. Sponsored programs have a small token charge. Instead of high security walls, wristbands signify your paid admission. Sponsors have supplied displays, trailers, food for staff and talent, t-shirts and funds to co-promote the event. You will find the media backstage, providing music, live broadcasts and interviews with the artists to keep their listeners informed. Radio and television is critical to the success of this production. Four weeks prior to this event, commercials have been airing on several TV and radio networks to promote the park and the artists that have been assembled for this long weekend festival. The park is divided up into several separate areas to accommodate the many thousands of visitors that are expected to attend. The concert area is flat and secured with a high fence. Sodded grass keeps the ground dry and comfortable for the audience. Nearby is a large freshwater pond for swimming and cooling off during the hot summer days. The audience is entertained between performances with skydivers, comedians, cowboys and amusement rides. There is a wide variety of music and several stages have been constructed and altered to accommodate the various needs of the performers. From small bluegrass bands that need minimal lighting and sound requirements to larger rock bands that feature lighting and quality sound reinforcement. This large stage and corresponding backstage area enables transport trucks easy loading access to accommodate the wide variety of equipment that is needed to produce a major concert. Weeks of preparation is needed to erect this mini city of lights, scaffolding, trailers and sound reinforcement. High voltage generators will supply 400,000 watts of power to light the stage alone. A roof over the entire stage protects the performers and the equipment from the weather. Each group has their own mobile home to use as a dressing room, and large backstage tents give the artists a chance to mingle with musicians, guests, and media personalities. Although this area is well protected and out of bounds to the general audience, there are plenty of other facilities available to the public. The park's country store has all the items a camper will need for the weekend. Other trailers contain an impressive selection of fast food and beverages if you didn't plan on cooking over your campfire. You'll find a wide variety of flea market vendors selling their handmade souvenir goods. This is what makes the event so popular and different. In addition to the music, it's the festival atmosphere reminiscent of the 60s that attracts the audience. It's evolved into a rodeo, carnival and psychic fair complete with computer printed fortunes. This attracts every kind of person, and to accommodate all of the various types of concerts, season planning begins well in advance. Negotiating with artist agencies, sponsors, security, waste management, medical services and show staff is a full-time, year-round job. It's the promoter's responsibility to make sure everything runs smoothly, on time and on budget. With all of the entertainment possibilities available to the consumer, what makes this type of event so popular? The park's promoter is Wolfgang Siebert of Summer Grove Productions. Enjoy clean air, rivers, water, trees, sun, you know, get a suntan, and uh, people like that nowadays. They don't have to uh, go to a stadium and then at nighttime leave right away and fight the traffic. They can just take their time leaving, they can catch a meal at nighttime and then go back to their campsite, whether it's a motorhome or a tent, you know. People are more into uh, coming with their little individual mobile units nowadays to stay for the weekend and enjoy the festivals. And we think there's an outdoor trend happening for people to get out of the cities on the weekends, but they still want entertainment. And if you can give them music or antique cars where they can come out with the family 
or their friends and uh, it makes it more of an event. The main event is the music and there's a lot of it to choose from. As promised last week on Outlaws and Heroes, here we are at the Carlisle Country Camp Out. And they have a superior lineup of country artists here for you. Ricky Skaggs, Waylon Jennings, Charlie Pride, Tammy Wynette and a host of others. And we're going to be bringing them to you over the next couple of weeks. Bluegrass is a style of music that it don't cost a lot of money to buy a million dollar worth of equipment to play. And we'll keep it under our Summer Grove Productions invites you to Carlisle. Join in and experience the country, camping and music all summer long. <laughs>